Welcome back to Blockchain Pill. My name is Alex, and today we'll see what's been going on in the ICP ecosystem the previous week. Utopia has been officially introduced to the ICP ecosystem. Dominic Williams himself introduced Utopia for the first time on stage at Nexus 2050 in Luxembourg. And for the people that are new or have been living under a rock, Utopia is a new platform dedicated to tackling cybersecurity challenges. And by the way, cybersecurity is a multi-trillion dollars per year problem that needs fixing. I think we should be embracing Utopia with open arms, but unfortunately, this far, the ICP community has had mixed feelings when it comes to Utopia, mainly because Utopia is going to be a different entity to Definity. So it's going to be a separate business, a for-profit business compared to the not-for-profit Definity. There is this now viral thread on the Definity forums titled, Have We Been Rugged? Serious question about Utopia. How does Utopia burn cycles? Utopia has $1.6 billion for deploying ICP technology as private clouds. If it does not burn cycles at all, does it mean that we've been rugged on ICP? How was this funded? As an ICP long-term investors, I demand an answer as soon as possible. And this was the sentiment of some of the ICP community members. But before we dive into this thread, I want us to dive into what Utopia is and what the benefits of Utopia are going to be for the internet computer ecosystem and the ICP investors. First of all, what is Utopia? Utopia is a groundbreaking technology designed specifically for enterprises and governments. It allows them to create private networks that function like serverless clouds. But here, the question is, why is this needed? Many organizations have strict requirements to keep full control over their data and computation. They need to know exactly where their data lives and often must run their systems on local hardware for sovereignty reasons. This makes Utopia a perfect solution as these organizations can control their nodes and hardware while maintaining security and compliance. Now let's talk a little bit about the structure and I think this is the reason why many people have been upset with Definity and with the reveal of Utopia. The Definity Foundation, which is behind the internet computer, is a non-profit organization. Its mission is to advance ICP technology and to support its public network. However, marketing and supporting ICP technologies in the enterprise and government sectors is a different beast and would be extremely costly for Definity to handle alone. This is where a new for-profit entity comes in. This new organization will take charge of the Utopia project, allowing it to raise its own funding and focus on the enterprise and government IT sectors. This separation ensures that Utopia can pursue its goals without overburdening the Definity Foundation. Now the burning question remains, how does Utopia benefit the Internet Computer Protocol? So first of all, Utopia's development will speed up the advancements in ICP technology. All the improvements made by Utopia will be contributed back to the public internet computer network for free, pushing the boundaries of what ICP can do even faster. By adding a large independent player in the form of Utopia, the ICP ecosystem becomes more decentralized and resilient. Utopia's involvement ensures that the ICP community has another strong resourceful contributor. Utopia extends the relevance of ICP skills into the enterprise and government domains. This means that more developers will find ICP skills valuable and applicable in a broader range of scenarios, thereby expanding the ICP developer community. As a side note, if you are a developer and you want to learn how to code and build on ICP, I recommend you go and check out the Motoko Bootcamp, which is now hosting the Open Internet Summer. ICP developers will gain new opportunities to monetize their work. They can adapt their applications for enterprise use within Utopia, creating secure, sovereign versions of popular tools, like a corporate version of Slack using ICP's open chat code. And one of the biggest challenges for ICP has been visibility outside crypto. And this is huge because Utopia will operate outside of this crypto bubble and it will be able to attract mainstream media attention by solving real world problems with its tamper-proof, unstoppable serverless clouds. This external recognition will shine a spotlight on the internet computer protocol, raising its profile and credibility. I think that the whole people's perception about the internet computer protocol is going to change once they realize it is able to solve a multiple trillion dollar a year problem. This is going to be huge for the internet computer protocol. What about the interoperability of Utopia with ICP? 
Utopia networks are like private intranets compared to the public intranet. Organizations using Utopia can create their private serverless cloud platforms, but when their applications need to interact with others on different Utopia clouds, the internet computer becomes essential. This interoperability will likely involve registering their private Utopia networks and applications with the ICP network using ICP tokens for participation. So in summary, Utopia is a game changer for the internet computer ecosystem. It accelerates technology, decentralizes the community, expands the developer base, opens new revenue streams, and brings much needed visibility outside the crypto world. I think it is a powerful new front in the ongoing evolution of ICP. So this is an ongoing discussion and I will keep you guys up to date with what the resolution is going to be and how the Definity Foundation responds to uh, this thread on the Definity Forum. So what do you think? Is Utopia going to be beneficial to the ICP ecosystem or not? Let me know in the comment section below. And this is enough about Utopia. Let's see what other exciting things have been happening in the ICP ecosystem. The Definity team is going to be present to the Bitcoin conference and they will host a Chain Fusion Day. So if you are in Nashville on July 26th, I recommend you get your ticket and go and, you know, network with the Definity team and maybe ask Dominic or the Definity team questions about Utopia. Why not? Now let's have a look at the ICP price just to see how it's reacted to the Utopian news, which should have been a, a huge move to the upside in my opinion. It's, that is extremely bullish news, but it looks like the ICP price has not really reacted in such a positive way. The whole market is in the red, so it's not only ICP, but we're currently sitting just above $7.50. So we are around the local bottom that we've hit both last week and the week before it. So we're still holding here. The price has been boring for pretty much all the crypto space, not only ICP, but you know, it's crypto. The price does what the price wants to do. And you know, besides being patient and doing more research, there's literally not much that we can do. So this is the price. If we want to talk about exciting things that happened last week, I think the most exciting thing is Water Neuron here, which has gained a massive attention from the ICP ecosystem and a lot of people are bullish on it. There is even a DAO alliance that has formed in the support of Water Neuron. The reach that they have and the engagement that they receive is incredible. And all those, you know, funny gifts with uh, watermelons, like they keep them coming. Like I'm curious, like how many gifts with watermelons do you guys have? It is, it is insane. The Water Neuron SNS has currently raised just shy of 400,000 ICP in total which is a sizable amount. This will kickstart their liquid staking platform. So congratulations to the team and congratulations to everybody who invested in Water Neuron. Yeah, I'm looking forward to see what the team is going to build and how this will kickstart DeFi on the Internet Computer Protocol. And yeah, with that, we're done. It's been an interesting week for sure. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.